Hi, I'm Stella, and I'm a product manager working on Firebase. Hi, I'm Thomas. I'm a software engineer at Firebase. As developers, we want to ship the latest Gen AI features rapidly. But at the same time, we don't want to break the existing user experience. Gen AI features are thrilling, but could also be unpredictable at times. We've all been there. That launch button feels both empowering and a little nerve wracking. So today, we want to share how using Firebase Remote Config will give you confidence and control over your Gen AI feature launches. But first, let's cover the basics. What exactly is Remote Config? Remote Config is a feature flagging tool one of the most important tools for modern software development. But let me show you how you can use Remote Config from the simplest to the most advanced cases, step by step. In the simplest form, a feature flag is like a light switch, a tool to turn a feature on or off easily and quickly. A step further, instead of just between on and off, why not switch between colors by supporting string, number, and Boolean data types now we have a generic key value config. This is where the config in remote config comes from. Now, remote config is remote because it's stored separately in the cloud. This means that you can change your config in just a few clicks from your browser, and remote config will update millions of devices across the world in a snap. The change happens during runtime, so skip the painful process of changing your source code and waiting for that change to deploy saving you hours or even days. You might be asking, why not just use a key value database? Remote config goes beyond simple storage, offering complex logic out of the box. For example, what if you want to turn on a feature for just some users and not the others? You can do exactly that by defining targeting conditions that control who can see a feature and who cannot directly from the Firebase console. Remote Config will figure out which users fit your conditions and deliver the right value. So if you've wondered why you can see a trendy new feature in an app, but your friends can't, that's because of feature flagging. Finally, with user targeting, we've unlocked even more cool powers. The ability to run experiments like A-B tests and analyze the impact of your features, such as revenue, engagement, and system performance. Remote config experiments with A-B testing will show you whether your new change is statistically better to your users. Remote config personalization takes us even further by using machine learning to run continuous experiments and serve an optimal config for each user automatically. So leave out the guesswork and make data-driven decisions with remote config. Now, let's talk about what's next in the evolution of remote config. So Remote Config gives you control over the delivery of your new features to your users. You choose who and when will get the new feature. However, control is only as valuable as the information you have to base your decisions. So today, we're unveiling the next logical step in Remote Config to help you launch your cutting-edge Gen AI features with confidence, Remote Config Rollouts. Rollouts combines the power of Crestlytics, Google Analytics, and Remote Config to allow you to gradually ramp up traffic to new features while keeping an eye on your app's stability and performance. The key to a successful launch is precise control and accurate measurement. You need the ability to control when and how your feature reaches users, and also the confidence that is working as expected and providing the intended customer value. But wait, there is one more thing. Gen AI feature development is unique. Iteration is key when getting your AI models just right. The process of refining prompts and tuning parameters can feel more like an art than an exact science. To enable rapid experimentation, you need a way to quickly test different model configurations. Configuring prompts and Gemini API settings directly on the client isn't ideal. These should reside securely on your application servers. And this is why we're excited to announce something big. 
we're bringing the power of remote config to support server-side configs. Remote config is now a full stack feature flagging platform, starting with Node.js. To understand rollouts and server configs, let's dive into an example of how you can use them. Imagine Stella and I are full stack developers working on a journaling app. We want to build a new Gen AI powered chatbot. The goal of this feature is to help our users express themselves and increase overall engagement. A simple architecture of a Gen AI powered app could look like this. In our mobile apps, we're going to introduce new code to display the chatbot UI and to call our application server for chat responses. The app server takes in the user's messages and calls Gemini's chat API with their model prompt and parameters. Why not just call Gemini API directly from the app? First, AI innovation moves fast. With new models and changes coming out constantly, you have to stay ahead by iterating quickly and seamlessly updating your features AI on the server side. Don't let app updates slow you down. Iterate on your AI model independently for incredible agility. Second, bad actors could decompile or manipulate your data on the app. Take no risk to your business secrets by putting them out of reach in the cloud. My team has tested the feature extensively, but there could always be a problem during or after launch. Let's put our entire feature behind a client-side feature flag because it's the most comprehensive way to turn a feature on or off. And now, time to customize the magic behind our chatbot, the LLM. Let's give our chatbot personality and a name. How about Penny the Pen Pal? We want Penny to be a fun, witty companion who helps our users feel comfortable expressing themselves. The prompt determines our chatbot's personality and the way it responds to users. Speed and flexibility is key for iteration. So we're going to store the prompt and some common model parameters in remote config. This way, we don't have to wait for code deployments. In our app server code, we fetch the latest config values from remote config and pass it into the Gemini API calls. And we're done. Here's how our finished system looks. Fast forward a few weeks, our new feature is now ready to be launched. To target my Android app users, I will click on the three dots and select Rollout. I want to start by rolling it out to 10% of my 10,000 Android users. With real-time updates enabled, it only takes seconds for our end users to see the new feature. So let's check out how our new feature is doing in the Rollout's results page. Hmm. I see that about 500 people are seeing the new chatbot already. And now let's check on some key metrics. We can see that our app is stable and has no change in crash rate compared to the control, which is our users without our feature yet. This is a great sign for our launch. And I can also see that the engagement time has increased compared to control, which is exactly what we had hoped for. Penny is doing a great job. Seeing that our change is stable for hundreds of users gives me confidence to roll it out further. So let's introduce Penny to 25% of our users. We should gather more data before a full launch, so we're going to let our chatbot cook. After a few days, stability still looks good, but uh-oh. Our chatbot is going viral on social media. Our in-app engagement metric is falling. Not only that, our server costs are unusually high. Our users don't like our chatbot, and the boss wants mitigations ASAP. OK, here's the plan. First thing, we need to limit the blast radius. Let's quickly roll back the feature back from 25% to 5% until we can figure out a fix. We can still gather continuous feedback from the 5% of users while we iterate. Next, let's fix our AI. From reading user reviews, Penny just won't stop with the dad jokes. They're also saying its responses are just too long. That explains the drop in engagement and high costs. 
JNAI has produced variable results, and public perception of those results can be just as unpredictable. This is a classic prompt engineering challenge. We can iterate on our model's prompt directly from the Firebase console. Good thing we have some alternative prompts we've tested already. And let's bring down the humor setting to 75%. To control the response length and cost, reduce the max output token. So the team is on edge with sudden AI changes. So let's not be hasty and only use the new prompt for 50% of server requests to test the waters. And again, we're going to let this cook and monitor its reception before rolling it out to everyone. It has been a couple of days, and the engagement metric is trending up, and our users are posting positive feedback. Now we feel confident to roll out to 100%. That was just one of many examples of how you can use Remote Config to launch your new GNI features with confidence. You can use Remote Config for servers to seamlessly switch between models, optimize cost, and protect your users from unexpected outages. And you can count on rollouts to help you monitor the stability and performance of your new features so that you can make the most informed decisions about your rollouts. So go ahead and give server-side remote config and feature rollouts a try.